In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform data analysis leveraging the Unity Catalog data in the Databricks notebook. Essentially, we want to calculate the total sales, average sales by product, region, and sales. So let's get started. Now, before we go into the coding part, it is important to understand the Unity Catalog. So I have this Cornerstone Analytics Databricks Unity Catalog, and then we have the D product schema that is holding the product table, the D region schema that is holding the region table, the D state schema that is holding the state table and then the fact sales schema that is holding the sales table so i'm going to just come here and begin to write the code so this is actually using the default python but i'm going to use the sql so i'm going to come here and use the present sql and this will automatically switch to the sql language so first we just want to see the first row in the f sales of the unity catalog so i'm going to call the connection it analytics database and then i can point to the f sales and then i can call the sales table and use the limit to limit just to one record so i can control enter to run the code so this gave us the order date year state region product and the sales so i'm going to use this for the code so i'm going to get rid of this now i'm going to love to indent my code so i'm going to come here and then press enter so i can provide the columns within the select so we want to select the product column first and then I want to select the region and then I want to select the state. And then I want to compute the total sales and average sales. So for this, I'm going to use the sum function. So I want to sum the sales column. So I'm going to call it sales and I'm going to alias this as total sales. And we want to also see the AVG, the average. So again, open the brackets. So I'm going to call the sales column as AVG sales. So I can use the first inner join. So the join. So I'm gonna call the cornerstone analytics database, and I'm gonna wait for this to deploy. So we want to start by joining the the product schema. So I'm gonna come here and press the tab key, and then the product table. Press the tab key. Now this actually makes our life much easier to write the code in this environment because of the AI powered code suggestion, which is really amazing. So at this junction, I'm gonna alias the tables and then use the aliases in the columns. So I'm gonna call this one P representing the product and I'm gonna do F representing the fact sales. So I'm gonna come here because this column is color coming from the product table. So I'm gonna do D dot. Now I'm going to alias this for now and then define the alias later. So I'm gonna do R dot region and then I'm gonna come here and use S dot and this sales column is coming from the fact table, so I'm going to do F dot, and I'm going to come here and do the same thing, F dot. Okay, so I'm going to come here and continue the code. Press enter. So we will go ahead and use the on keyword and to match the rows where the P dot product is equal to F dot product. So I'm going to do P dot product table where it is equal to F dot product table that's coming from the another table. So I'm going to wait for this to come up. If it doesn't come out, I'm just keep on typing and then press enter. So I'm going to move to the second inner join and then you will call the cornerstone analytics data breaks and I want to point to the region. So I'm going to do the D region, press the tab key, press the tab key and alias this as R. And then I can come here, press enter, use the on keyword and then want to do R dot region where it is equal to F dot region okay this is working out press enter and then use another inner join for the last table so this is going to be cornerstone analytics data breaks and then press the tab and then i'm going to press enter or the tab key and then i'm going to call the state table and i'm going to alias this as s and then press enter so we want to use the on keyword again i'm going to do s where s dot state is equal to f dot states and then i can press the tab key so it's now working so i'm going to press enter and then we can use the group by all so i'm going to use the group by all so this is going to automatically pick all the three columns within the select and then i can even press enter and use the amazing order by all a double l and i'm going to go ahead and run this code control enter to run amazing so this gave us the total sales and average sales by product, region, and the state. So we can see the order by all is actually working. So it's ordered from A to Z, that is from A to another. So we have the Bluetooth speaker, and then we have the region from the C, central, and then we have the state from California, and so on. So this is gonna follow the order of product, region, and the state. And then when I scroll, I can see we have quite a lot of rows. So this returned not 492 rows so this is how we can in the database notebook write 
inner joints to calculate the total sales and average sales by product, region, and state. I trust you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, comment, share, and follow me for more videos. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.